Hi, my name is Joe Belfiore. I'm part of the Windows Phone team at Microsoft, and I'm here to introduce you to the next release of Windows Phone, codenamed Mango. In the team, we tried to stay true to the Windows Phone design principles by building software that's crafted to quickly connect you to the people who matter most. There's three things we really focused on in Mango. First, a web experience that goes beyond the browser. Second, a smarter approach to apps. And third, communication features that make it easier to connect and share with the people you care most about. Let's start our demo with the web experience that's part of Mango. And we're going to begin by talking a little bit about IE9. Now, many of you have heard that Internet Explorer 9 is available on your Windows PCs. And we've taken the same web browsing engine that you might be running on your PC and built it right into Mango. And the biggest advantage of this for you is a web browser that's blazingly fast at certain new kinds of web pages. Let's take a look at this in action. What I have here in front of me are actually a number of smartphones, because we want to show you how fast i9 is compared to these other phones. First, an iPhone 4, a BlackBerry Torch, the Motorola Atrix, an Android phone, and then our Windows phone. What I'm going to do is launch an HTML5 web page. I'm going to try to do them on all four of them relatively at the same time here. And I am going to jump to my favorites. And we'll see how fast they all draw this page. We'll go on the iPhone, on the BlackBerry, on the Android phone. And here we go on IE9. Now, this is the same exact web page, and all the smartphones are, are drawing it. You can see here the Windows phone is drawing it really quickly. In fact, right there it shows that that's 24 frames per second. The Android phone is getting 10 frames per second. The iPhone here is getting 2 frames per second. And the BlackBerry actually isn't reporting. Oh, there we go. It's reporting 4 frames per second. Because IE9 has hardware acceleration built in, it takes advantage of the graphics on the phone, you can see that IE9 finished first. With IE9, we tried to build a web experience that was highly compatible and fast, so you could get to what you want to on the web as quickly as possible. But we didn't stop with the work just in the browser. We know that getting things done on the internet is also about how you find things around you and how you do searches. Let's take a look at a feature called Local Scout to see how we've used search on the phone to help you find things nearby. Imagine you've just traveled to a city and you're not really sure where to go eat, or you're sitting around at home with your kids. The idea of the Local Scout is to give you suggestions. Let me show you how that works. I'm going to jump to the Bing experience. And down here, you see an icon for Scout. When I press the local Scout, the phone knows my location. Today, I'm at Microsoft in Overlake, Washington. And it's going to find a bunch of suggestions here and display them for me without having to type at all. First, Eat and Drink shows me nearby restaurants or coffee shops or cafes. When I pan over, See and Do gives me events and attractions, like the Microsoft Museum. If I pan over, I get a shopping panel that shows me stores like Performance Bicycle or Safeway or Macy's. When I pan over again, I can have favorites that are remembered for me. And then last, highlights here show me places I shouldn't miss. Now, there's a lot more we're trying to do with search on the phone as well. Keeping with the same theme of searching being easy and not requiring so much typing, we built in a new feature called Bing Vision. Let's start with a real world example. Uh, JP here tells me this is a great book I should read. It's called This Will Change Everything. I thought it would be pretty cool if my Windows phone could just sort of recognize this and store the book on my behalf so I don't have to carry the book. Let's take a look at how that works. I can use Bing Vision. I'll touch the Bing Vision icon right here. And the camera on the phone is lit up. I can just aim it at the book. I choose This Will Change Everything from the list. Here I see the book cover, the price, a description. I can see reviews of this book. I can pan over and see prices and places I might buy the book online. We've linked the apps on the phone with that search result. So here you can see Amazon Shopping, Best Buy, and Amazon Kindle all recognize this book. I'm going to choose Amazon Kindle. In just a second here you'll see. I have the opportunity to buy this from the Amazon Kindle store, and now I've taken that book from my hand right into the Amazon Kindle app to have it with me. Now let's talk about how we have a smarter approach to apps. 
When I open the Games Hub, you see here my game collection, but if I pan over, for example, I see the Xbox Live panel where my real 3D animated avatar can wave to me and do cool tricks and stunts. But the reason I've come into the Games Hub is to show you how Windows Phone with Mango now does multitasking. So I'm going to launch a game here, Fruit Ninja, and I want to show you how quickly and easily I can switch between apps and games using the built-in multitasking that's part of Windows Phone. Here you can see Fruit Ninja has loaded up. I'm going to slash to start a new game and slash to say classic mode. And here I am hacking away at fruit in an Xbox Live enabled game trying to get achievements. And when you're done playing that game and ready to try some different action, press and hold the back button. And all of the apps and games that I've been doing recently are displayed right here so it's fast and easy for me to switch back to them. I'll choose this one to switch back to Rise of Glory, a great flying game that I have to try to pilot my plane around and avoid getting shot down in real time. And when I want to switch again, I can simply press and hold the back button, and again I see all the apps and games that I've been using recently. And here I want to show you a Best Buy application where an app that's a pretty simple thing does a lot more on a Windows phone. Imagine I'm interested in a new Samsung LED TV, and I've been using the Best Buy app to find one, but the one I really want has been out of stock. And I've decided I want the Best Buy app to tell me when the TV is available nearby. So I'm going to choose Pin to Home Screen to not just pin the Best Buy app, but to literally pin the 46-inch Samsung LED TV right there to my home screen. Now watch and imagine, if the TV had just gotten in stock, the live tile can now flip over and notify me, your TV is just three miles away. And when I launch the Best Buy app from that live tile, it jumps right to the LED TV, gives me information about the TV, like its in-store availability. When I choose that, I can see all the stores in my local area that have the TV. If I choose this one in Bellevue, I can get the store's hours or directions. Those are just a few examples of the ways that we've tried to make apps smarter on Windows Phone where the same apps do more. Last, let's take a look at some of our great new communications features. Let's start with email. I'm going to jump into Outlook, where as I pan down my work mail, you'll see that some of these items look a little different than the others. I'll go back to this top one from Stephanie. I'm going to expand it because this is a conversation. So you can easily read all those messages. Or if you look at this thread and say, I'm not interested in following that, I can just click here get check boxes for all of those items, and hit delete or move to save the thread. It's an easy way to manage your email inbox, and we've built it in by default. Next, I'm going to go back to my start screen, where you'll see here I have a tile called personal email. One of the ways that we wanted to make email management a lot easier. You might have your work email in Outlook, but a lot of people have more than one account for personal email. We can bring those all together. We let you choose which email inboxes you want to put together and link, and we'll give you one tile that lets you see all that mail. It's a flexible approach that puts you in command of how you're going to do your work or your personal mail. The next feature area I want to talk about is called groups. In Mango, we now enable you to set up groups of people that you want to interact with together. If you look here on my start experience, you'll see a tile there called Friends. That's an example of a group that I created. When I click on it, inside you'll see tiles for each of the six people who are members. And as these tiles animate, you get status information about what each of those people are doing, and that's bubbled up to your start screen for you. If I pan over, I can see a feed of what's new for all these people. This is their social network activity on Facebook or Twitter or LinkedIn or Windows Live, all aggregated into one place. If I pan over again, you'll see all the pictures that these people have been taking or posting. There's pictures of all my friends together on Facebook, or I can view the individual albums of any of these people so I can stay up to date with the activity of my friends in terms of what they're doing with photos. The last thing that I'm going to do here is show you a feature we call threads. If you think about the way people have been doing typed messages between each other, there was text, but now there's lots and lots of different networks, and we've brought them all together. I'm going to touch Chris Gray here, and I'm going to choose to send him a message. And you'll see here in my message view, earlier I was having a text conversation with him. Here he sent me a message using Facebook chat, 
which is supported as part of our Threads feature. And what I'm going to do is actually see if he's available on Windows Live Messenger. I'm going to switch over where I can choose between texting him, sending him a message on Facebook or Messenger. It says he's available on Messenger, so I'm going to say, yo, dude, you on your Xbox? Question mark, send. We know that uh, Messenger can connect to your PC or your Xbox, and now with threads, your phone can communicate with people on any of those networks, Facebook, Windows Live, or over text in a simple integrated way. And you see there, Chris has replied, yep, sure enough, he's on his Xbox. Dance Central is awesome. What you just saw were the main highlights of Mango, smarter and easier communications, apps, and the web.